Hey guys, Ragnarok54 here, and welcome back to another RuneScape video. So, first of all, I realized that I actually forgot to mention this in my last video, but I am actually no longer Ragnarok54. I changed my name to Proclivity. Uh, it's a vocab word that came up in my English class, and I thought it was a really cool word. It means like tendons or inclination, like you have a proclivity to play RuneScape, which means you play RuneScape a lot. So I thought that was kind of cool. Um, I was surprised it wasn't taken. Uh, I doubt anyone's going to be taking Ragnarok 54 anytime soon, so I think I'm safe in that regard. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to update you guys if you're wondering uh, if I like got a new account or something. No, that is not the case. I am still me, still in this account. Uh, I just changed my name. So I know it's been like a month since I made my last video. It's actually not been a month since I made my last video, but just my last video that I've uploaded on this channel. Uh, because I did start a French RuneScape channel. I know that's really weird. I can't remember if I've talked about this in the past before, but I've been wanting to do this for a while. I thought it'd be super interesting because I really like the French language. I do speak French, so I thought it would be really great if I could make a French YouTube channel for RuneScape because pretty much no one makes videos for RuneScape in French, uh, even though there is a community that plays the game in French. So I thought it would be nice if I could kind of provide at least some RuneScape content for those people. I only put up two videos and they're both pretty bad, uh, but I just decided, you know, uh, it would be a good time to start. Uh, I, I think it's... It's a lot diff. It's strange how much different it is to talk to a computer in French as it is in English. So, uh, but anyway, I'm getting better at that. But I'm probably not going to be putting up another video there um, before this video goes up. And the reason why I haven't actually been putting out too many videos is because this is pretty much the end of the year for me. Uh, this is what everything has been um, done for. All my work is culminating to this point uh, in the year. I'm going to be taking a lot of tests really soon. Next week is actually like the week of judgment. I'm taking all these tests. I actually have already taken two tests. I took my, I took my chemistry final, which I actually did pretty well on. I got 101%, which I'm actually really happy with. And I also took the ACT. Um, I'm not sure if any of you guys have taken the ACT, but I just took the ACT and I did pretty well. I got a 34. Um, so uh, that is in the 99th percentile, so I'm actually pretty happy with that. Um, I'd just gotten a 35 on a practice test, so I was kind of disappointed that I couldn't do that again. But either way, 34 is still a great score, and I'm actually really happy to have gotten that. Um, so I'm not going to take the SAT now that I've gotten a good score on the ACT, but I am still going to have to take the SAT subject tests um, if I want to go to a, one of the more prestigious colleges. Um, so I'm planning on taking the French one. Uh, and maybe the chemistry one because I'm in chemistry this year and so I know it pretty well So I think it would be a good year to take the chemistry one But the whole problem is that I have a tennis tournament that weekend and it's really important I'm actually going to a city like three hours away and I've planned out this weird thing So on the second day of the tournament I can take the SAT subject test in the morning and my coach is gonna like delay my match so that I can play later it's all a little hectic, but it hopefully will work out in the end. I really hope it does at least, because then I'll get to play in this tournament that I really want to play in, and I will also be able to um, take the SAT subject tests um, so that I can go to a good school. Also, the week after that, so that is next week, um, are all my AP tests. I'm actually a uh, junior in high school right now. I'm not sure if any. I'm not sure if I've ever said that before. I think I did like a long time ago. Not too sure, but uh, either way, I'm in four AP classes this year, so I'm taking four AP tests this year, and those will all be next week and the week after that. So those are going to be pretty intense. Uh, I've been uh, studying recently, well, not really studying, but brushing up, I guess. I'm not a huge studier. I, I've never found the willpower to, to study, but uh, either way, I've been trying to remember the stuff that we've done at the beginning of the year. I'm sure you guys know how that works. You were great at the stuff in the beginning of the year, and then like nine months later you realize that you don't actually remember how to do any of it. So that's the situation I'm in right now. Uh, hopefully I can remember how to do everything before I take the AP tests. Now I still have a week to study, maybe two weeks for the later tests that are on the second week, but either way I really hope I do well with those tests. But real life aside, finally I can get on to RuneScape. The reason why you are probably watching this video I've actually advanced a uh, pretty even 25 levels at 2450 to 2475 from my last video. I know it's like 25 levels in a month, that's not that great, um, but once I'm getting up to these higher levels, it actually is pretty decent if I can get a level every day. 
which is a little bit less than what, or a little bit more than what I have actually done. Um, I have been doing a lot fewer caches recently, uh, Gethixian caches, because I just don't have the time now that tennis season has started. I get home and I can maybe do one cache a day, but sometimes Warbands is at that time, so I'm obviously going to choose Warbands over a cache. Um, so that's kind of how it's been going. Uh, Warbands, though, I have been really liking that when I have been able to do that, which is not very often at all. Um, so I have gotten five construction levels, 96 construction, just got that last wave that I did, Warbands. Um, so that's pretty awesome. Getting closer to 99 there. Uh, also, I've gotten a few levels of smithing. I think it's only two, though, uh, with Warbands when they didn't have construction supplies. Other than that, I did do a bit of rune crafting and fishing so that I could get 80 all skills. If you see there, I do not have a single skill that is under 80, so I'm pretty psyched about that. That's pretty awesome. One more milestone cape to go until max cape, so that's pretty exciting. Uh, I've almost, I've got a few skills that are close to 90 here, like um, dungeoneering and woodcutting. And the problem here is going to be fishing and runecrafting. Not looking forward to runecrafting. Fishing is actually not that bad. Now that I have, I have a shark outfit, which is really nice. And now that they uh, did the whole aquarium update, there's a lot of people here. Unfortunately, the pulse cores are gone, but that was pretty nice. Uh, that's how I've gotten quite a few levels in fishing. I believe I've gotten like six or something, which is decent for me. I never thought I'd see myself with 82 fishing, even though that kind of sucks. Uh, but yeah, the I guess I might as well do this while the promotion is still new, and while there's the shark outfits, it is all pretty nice, um, so hopefully fishing will not be that bad, it does not seem to be that bad thus far, even though I have only done a few levels, uh, not that much XP in the long run, uh, but rune crafting, however, I have done a bit of rune crafting, uh, and that is pretty brutal, I mean, I'm not sure how I'm going to handle that, it's really slow XP compared to the other skills I've done, and I don't know, it's just not something I find as enjoyable. It's not even as AFKable as fishing, which kind of sucks. Uh, dungeoneering, uh, I think I'm just going to go with some sinkholes and dailies on that one. That might be like my last 99, which is kind of sad. Uh, but the dailies really are super, super efficient. So if I could do that, then it would be nice. I should be doing sinkholes, but as I said, I don't have a lot of time. Um, I haven't had a lot of time for this past month or two. Uh, but I will in the next month, so the second half of May is pretty much like free for me because all the AP tests are over, and the other classes, I, I have like math class because I'm not in an AP math, unfortunately, uh, but that's going to be pretty much my only class that uh, I have to worry about, and that is not very hard. Uh, other than that, uh, I will be able to be skilling a lot more after that, so hopefully I will get some of my lower levels up, like my thieving. Not too sure what I'm going to do with that still. Hopefully I can just, I don't know, get along with daily challenges, something like that. Do some pyramid plunder here and there. Uh, agility, I've been doing the same old thing. I've been doing my jack of trades every day, which gives me a nice like 20 to 25k XP. And then on top of that, I'm doing 40k XP a day on Serenity Pillars. And the reason why it's 40 instead of 20 is because, as you can see, I have quite a bit of bonus experience. 200k right now. And every day I use my treasure hunter keys on agility, or I mean my prismatic stars, not the keys. Hopefully when I get prismatic stars from keys, I use them on agility so that I can get 40,000 40, XP instead of 20,000. Other than that, there's not a whole lot to mention. It's kind of getting exciting as I'm getting closer to max cape. Uh, I actually don't have a whole lot of things to talk about. It's either I've, I've done some stuff, I mean, if I get a level, it's pretty significant at this point. I'm getting closer every level I get. Uh, I'm going to get some 99s soon. Uh, as you can see, I still have not gotten 99 uh, mining. I don't really see the reason to. I'm kind of holding out because I really don't like wasting my time at Warbands. Um, and since I still have three skills left, I'm guaranteed to always have a tent. But when it is mining, that is kind of depressing because mining is super AFK. Great XP per hour, and uh, I can also get some Corrupted Ore from it. I am pretty much out of Corrupted Ore, so it looks like I'm going to have to go from around 96 and a half to 99 uh, with Warbands alone. And I also have a bit more Admin Ore that I've stored in my Artisan's Workshop that I might as well use. Um, so I don't have to completely rely on Warbands. That will be pretty nice. Um, I'm, I'm pretty happy with how that worked out. It could have been worse. I, I would have That would have really sucked if I had to get 99 with Warbands from like 92 or something. Uh, so I'm pretty happy with how that worked out.
Hunter, I've just been doing box traps every day. I'm going to start doing the Gren walls. I'm not really too sure how it works, but I've heard people say that it's amazing XP per hour. Um, even if you can't do it like hour after hour after hour. Um, but I hear that's really nice. I've just seen a few Reddit posts about it. I'll need to look into it more. Um, but for now, I'm just going to go with some box traps. I do have quite a few protein traps in my bank, I think. Um, but I will deal with those later. So other than that, I don't think there is really anything. I haven't even been doing anything in ports. I don't know why. I'm just kind of lazy like that. Um, I haven't done anything else exciting. I've literally just been like fishing or runecrafting or doing my dailies. Because uh, when I get home at like 6 o'clock and then I have to eat and then uh, I do like my jack of trades and serenity posts, I really do not have any time to do anything else. Uh, so even if I like don't do my homework, which sometimes I just don't because I'm like through that. Uh, I still don't have any time to really do anything of substance. Um, that's why I've just been trying to keep up with my daily challenges. I'm still one ahead at this point. I'm, I can get these out of the way today. Um, but uh, that's pretty much all I've been doing on RuneScape for now. As I said, after I think it's May 12th or something is my last AP test. I can't remember. Um, the second week of May is the last week of tests for me but until then there's probably not going to be any videos because I'm just going to be studying well I hope I'll be studying no guarantees though um, I'll probably just be wasting my time doing something else uh, but I will be getting ready for those tests hopefully doing well on them uh, if you guys have ever taken any AP tests or classes let me know maybe that can, maybe that can uh, help me in my AP test this year this year I'm taking a uh, chemistry, French, AP language and composition, and um, AP US history. So if you've taken any of those and you have any tips to give me, I will gladly accept them. But until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye.